So I said the first step we need to undertake is a compositional analysis of the image. So here I'd like you to try and describe what is it you see in the image and how does that make you feel? Okay, so you want me to describe sure, what that'd it is be that great. I'm seeing. Okay, if I look at this image, what I see first of all is you know, this woman with her hands held up against her mm. face, eyes closed, conveying this tremendous sense of loss and, and mourning. But it's not just a woman. We see, I don't know how many, like maybe 10, 11 kids who are all presumably dead, um, some of them wrapped into clothes, others are not. We see not all of the bodies. The image is obviously cut, so sometimes we just see some legs. Um, sticking out, um, and we don't really see much beyond that scene. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's obviously then taken after the tsunami hit. It's not an image of the tsunami itself, but the aftermath. You can tell from, I guess, the features of the persons that it's somewhere in Southeast mm -hmm. Asia. I guess that's, in a way, what I would describe if I were to do. Yeah, that and, and that's really analysis. good, Seb. That's sort of, and that is the first step of sort of a very in-depth kind of compositional analysis to looking at what exactly it is when we see images, because or and an image like this, because quite often, you know, we see images all the time, but we don't really, we don't really take a, a deeper reflection upon what it is that we're actually seeing. 